The Prime Ministers of Italy, Canada and Belgium, along with the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, arrived in Kyiv on Saturday in a show of support for Ukraine as the country enters its third year of full-scale war with Russia. The leaders visited the Hostomol airport, which was the site of intense battles at the start of the invasion as Russian forces tried to capture Kyiv. Von der Leyen said Europe will be providing more aid, more ammunition, more air defense systems and more training for Kyiv's troops. Ukraine must have the means to defend itself today. But also for tomorrow, Ukraine needs the capabilities to deter future attacks by Russia. Italian Prime Minister Giorgio Maloney signed a 10-year bilateral security agreement with Zelensky along with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who signed a similar deal pledging $2.2 billion in financial and military assistance for this year. Out on the streets, hundreds of people gathered to demand the release of Ukrainian soldiers in Russian captivity. Many of these soldiers were captured in the southern city of Mariupol when it fell to Russian forces during the early weeks of the invasion. Even as countries pledge more support, Ukraine has in recent weeks suffered setbacks on the battlefield. Russia's capture of the devastated eastern city of Avdiivka last week has emboldened Moscow's troops to intensify their attacks all along the thousand-kilometer-long front line. As Kyiv waits for crucial military aid from the United States, its troops are running out of ammunition. And people in frontline towns are now fearing further Russian advances. Megumi Lim, CNA, Kyiv.